ओके स्टूडेंट नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज इम्यूनो डिफिशियंसी डिसीज देर आर टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इम्यूनो डिफिशियंसी डिसीज दैट इज नंबर वन एस सी आई डी दैट इज सीवियर कंबाइंड इम्यूनो डिफिशियंसी नंबर टू एड्स दैट इज अक्वायर्ड इम्यूनो डिफिशियंसी सिंड्रोम एस सी आई डी इट अक्स बाय बर्थ hence it is said to be congenital whereas the aids is occur after the birth hence it is said to be acquired disease so first point what is severe combined immuno deficiency disease it is the most serious congenital immuno deficiency disease found in children hence it is also called as primary immuno deficiency in this the both b cells that is b lymphocyte and t cell that is t lymphocytes are absent scid is caused due to the mutation of recessive gene that is aea gene these patients lacks adenosine deaminase enzyme coded by adag and functional t lymphocyte scid patient lacks functional adag and functional t lymphocyte adag is present in t lymphocyte that codes for the synthesis of adenosine deaminase enzyme so due to the lack of adenosine deaminase enzyme there is no formation of b cell and t cell so what is mutation it is a sudden random directionless heritable changes that is called as mutation hence the scid is caused due to the mutation of recessive gene that is ada gene so four years old girl by name ashanti de silva of sri lanka was suffering from scid and she was effectively treated with gene therapy so next one is acquired immuno deficiency syndrome that is aids aids is caused by a virus called as hiv full form human immuno deficiency virus it is an acquired immuno deficiency disease because it occurs of the birth hiv attacks helper t cell and macrophage hiv attacks both helper t cell and macrophage in early days hiv was called as lav that is lymph adenopathy associated virus and stlv htlv that is human t lymphotrophic virus hiv was first reported in african green monkey in human it was discovered by motogneer in the year 1983 and gallo in the year 1984 hiv structure of hiv hiv measures about 90 to 110 angstrom in diameter it is spherical in shape hiv has two copies of rna containing reverse transcriptase enzyme with the help of reverse transcriptase enzyme rna of hiv can synthesizes dna 
Hence, HIV is called as retrovirus. That is, the virus containing reverse transcriptase enzyme are called as retrovirus. The two copies of RNA is called by two protein coat and then it is protected by two layer of lipid that is lipid bilayer. Glycoproteins, glycoproteins are projected out from the lipid bilayer. So glycoprotein helps in the attachment of HIV to the surface of helper P cell and macrophage. So HIV has two copies of single stranded RNA containing reverse transcriptase enzyme. Hence, HIV is called as retrovirus. With the help of reverse transcriptase enzyme, RNA of HIV can synthesize DNA by the process of reverse transcription. Next concept is mode of replication of HIV. So mode of replication of HIV. How does the HIV replicates inside the body of human? So HIV mode of replication of HIV. When the HIV enters, when the HIV enters into the body, it enters into the macrophages. Macrophages continues to produce HIV. Hence, macrophage acts as a HIV factory, which is called as HIV factory. Macrophage is called as HIV factory because macrophage continues to produce HIV. Then the simultaneously HIV attacks the helper T cell and removes the protein coat. Removes the protein coat. Then the RNA of HIV synthesizes DNA within the helper T cell with the help of enzyme reverse transcriptase that process is called as reverse transcription then the viral dna then the hiv dna then the dna of hiv incorporate with dna of hiv incorporate with dna of helper t cell and replicates what is replication so it is the method of making the identical copy of its own that is called as replication. Then the DNA of HIV incorporate with DNA of helper T cell and replicate. Then the viral DNA and then the DNA of HIV transcribes. Transcribes means transcription. So it is the method of making or synthesize RNA from DNA is called as transcription. So, it, then the viral DNA transcribes for the synthesis of RNA of HIV. Then it is covered by protein coat to form virus particles. As a result, infected cell becomes ruptured to release virus particles to infect the new helper T cell. So that is the mode of replication of HIV inside the body of the individual. And finally, it destroys the immune system. And finally, it breaks down the immune system. Next one is mode of transmission of HIV. How does the HIV causes? How does the AIDS cause? That is the mode of transmission of HIV. Point number one. HIV transmits through unprotected sexual contact. That is having sex 
without using condom or diaphragm. So that is the meaning. So HIV transmits through unprotected sexual contact or sexual intercourse. Number two, HIV transmit due to homosexual activities. That is having sex with the same sex. That is the males having sex with males and the females having sex with the female. That is the meaning homosexual activities. So HIV transmit due to homosexual activity. Point number three, HIV transmits through blood transfusion and blood product from the HIV infected. Point number four, HIV transmits through sharing of needle in case of intravenous drug abusers with HIV infected person to healthy person. So excessive use of any drug is called as drug abuse. The drug which are used other than medicine in excess or in frequency that is called as drug abuse. So HIV transmits through the sharing of needle as in case of intravenous drug abuser with the HIV infected person to healthy person. Point number five, HIV transmits from infected mother to child through placenta. That is how the HIV transmit. Next one is diagnosis. How can you diagnose HIV? So HIV can be diagnosed by ELISA test. That is enzyme, linker, immunosorbent assay full form of ELISA. Western blot technique indicates the presence of antibodies against HIV. So next one, the time tag of HIV infection vary from few months to many years that is between 5 to 10 years. So what you call incubation period. The incubation period of HIV infection may vary from few months to 10 years. Next one, so HIV does not spread which does not cause AIDS. So HIV does not spread by physical contact. By hugging HIV patient, by kissing HIV patient does not cause AIDS. Mosquito bite does not cause AIDS. Sharing of clothes and plates, glass, toilet with HIV infected person does not cause AIDS. It spread only through body fluid, that's how the HIV causes. So next one is, so preventive measure, so how can you prevent HIV? So prevention of HIV, point number one, HIV can be prevented by creating awareness about the root cause of infection of HIV. Point number two, HIV can be prevented by having sex with single partner or by avoiding multisex. Point number three, HIV can be prevented by screening of blood transfusion. Screening of blood before blood transfusion. Next one, HIV can be prevented by the usage of condom during sexual intercourse and usage of disposable needles. So, controlling drug abuse, promoting regular checkups of for HIV in susceptible population. So, these are the preventive measures of HIV infection. NACO. NACO, 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 the full form is National AIDS Control Organization Educating the People About AIDS. Next point, what are the symptoms of AIDS? 
persistent fever. Symptoms of AIDS is number one, persistent fever, prolonged cough, diarrhea that is loose motion, loss of appetite, weight loss, enlargement of lymph node, ulcer and skin. So next one is treatment of AIDS. Antiviral drugs like ASAP that is Azidopalmidin, Zerovidal and Dideoxyinosin interferons are the drugs which are used for the treatment of AIDS which reduces the multiplication and growth of HIV that is it reduces uh, the reverse transcription process. This drug reduces the process of reverse transcription. That is how the HIV can be treated. So there is no permanent cure for 